Hello, welcome to another Kent beer review. Um, we've had a couple of days where it's been a bit iffy, it cooled down a bit yesterday, but today we're back on it. The good weather. Anyway, today we've got a beer from I can't remember the Hop Damon Brewery. That's their bottle of their Green Damon. It's a Hills Golden Ale, Golden Beer. It's coming in at 5%. Um, bottle date, silver bottle cap is on the top. January of next year. Right, let's crack this one. This is a Kent brewery um, out of Newham. Oh, that's Kent somewhere, I think. Well carbonated coming up there, very little smoke. I've uh, got my uh, Fanet Beer Festival, Easter Beer Festival is their 10th beer festival this year in the Winter Gardens in Margate. Um, it's always a great weekend I look forward to locally. Uh, anyway, let's pour this one out. Let's try and create a bit of a head there. Leave that to settle for a sec. Quite nice, clear um, at the moment. I think they said it's bottle conditioned, so uh, can't see at the moment, but we'll find out in a minute. Probably is a little bit. Anyway, beer in a glass. It's a nice one thing ahead. Um, slightly uh, sort of an off sort of a hue to it. Um, let's get a nose. Very lemony, um, kind of tropical fruit, little tropical fruit aroma. Very clean smell. So smells good. Gonna crack. That's really pleasant, especially in the heat we're having at the moment. Really nice. It's got nice um, citrusy. Um, pronounce this. Um, bear with me. I'm still getting used to these beer reviews. I'm trying to. You got things going around in your head, and it's trying to work out what words to, are actually going to come out of the mouth. It's kind of. It's like there's there's bitterness at the front end. Bit of tropical fruit, not of an unpleasant bitterness. <coughs> um, it's quite hoppy. Uh, it's got like um, a little bit of, let's say, citrus sort of, a little bit of orange, but more I'd say lemon, certainly in the in the front ends of the taste. Um, it's. It's very subtle, it's not overpowering like some gold nails can be. Not overpowering, but you know what I mean, sort of um, taste taste levels. Um, it, it's just really refreshing, that's really crisp and refreshing. Um, that's one of the main things. You, you could drink this probably fairly quickly, especially on a day like today. Um, the finish, or well, the middle of the palette, of the taste, um, it's more. It, it just smoothly fades away that initial bitterness, tropical fruit um, at the beginning. Let's pour some more of this.
but it's just an unfiltered beer. There's a, a local ale house called the 39 Steps in Broadstairs. Um, they're worth checking out. We've got quite a few uh, microbreweries locally in Fanet now. Um, I hope to be going on to do a few beer reviews in these places as well as out in the garden. Um, I just like being outside this time of year, you know, to be honest with you, when you've got the weather like this, plus it's baking in the house as well, being a, an old building. Um, it's just it's just nice, isn't it, sitting outside. Um, anyway, what I was going to get back to, the middle of the palette. Yeah, it's just it really, it's just like that. It's a little bit grassy, grainy, with you know mixed in with that fruit, um, lemony, citrusy kind of beginning, and then it just sort of it just it fades, but it, there's still that little bit of bitterness leaving on on the palate. Um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, there's the bottle again, and there's the little bit of information. I don't know if you can see that with the excuse me. And there's let me just make sure this is all out. I don't know if you can pick that one up below the barcode there. That's it, is that it? Yeah. Pause that. Anyway, another Kent beer for you. I'm going to try and mix it up a little bit in the coming days. Um, I've just today bought a fair few local beers, um, but I've still got quite a lot of other, probably more well-known to you guys out there. Um, but I, I want to be trying to get them out of the way as well, so I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Um, but I know you, you want to probably hear some of the stuff that you have know, not been online before. Or very rarely anyway. You know, I give this a rating. It's a steady brew. Um, again, I'm gonna. I think I'll give that a, a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten from me today. Um, put your comments in the comments box below. Please subscribe for my uh, beer reviews and cheers.